But I had the weirdest situation happen to me. So I started talking to this guy last week and he asked me out and he ended up texting me like a couple days later and he was like, hey, like, does this blah, blah, blah work? And I was like, yeah, of course. He was like, I honestly just wanted an excuse to text you. And I was like, okay, like, cute. Guys, I thought it was going so well. Like, you know, when you have, you're talking to someone and it feels forced and like, you're trying to have something to talk about. That's like literally what I hate. And it didn't feel like that at all. Like literally at all. Like we were really hitting it off and we had a lot in common. So then yesterday he texts me and says how he's not feeling so good. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. So later in the day, I text him. I'm like, how are you feeling? He goes, I'm feeling a lot better. You're so sweet for asking. And me joking around, literally just joking around because that's like my personality. I was like, yeah, I got to make sure that you're feeling better for Saturday because if you think you're going to get out of it, you're sadly mistaken. Um, but he ends up saying, um, sadly, I've been thinking that I need to be single. I have a lot going on. Um, I know you'll understand. And at this point, I'm like, he has to be kidding, right? Because it's like, we, we both have like sarcastic sense of humor and I thought it was a joke, but I was like, and he might not be kidding. So I was like, for sure, like we could always be friends. He goes, yeah, I could always use a friend, you. And I was like, yeah, of course. And he just loved it. He wasn't kidding, guys. Okay. And this some real stuff right here, man. You looking at this lady, clearly she's above average on the attraction scale, right? And then this still happens to her. She got humbled real quick. My gut feeling is telling me that he playing his options. He probably got a whole wife or a girlfriend at the crib, to be honest with you, because he said he ain't ready for no relationship. So if she ain't shown him no real signs of being crazy or something like that, chances are he got a situation already. That's what I'm thinking, right? And women will ignore those red flags like a dog. And guess what? I didn't know he was married. I didn't da da da. -da. You knew. Y'all always bragging about your intuition and stuff like that. Where that intuition at right now? Where is that right now? I think the dumbest thing you can do as a hot girl in your 20s is get a boyfriend. Because what is that man adding to your life? Like, be so for real. Like men are so embarrassing at this age like what are they adding to your life that you don't already have so my question to her is if you're not going to get a boyfriend in your 20s when you're at your peak sexual market value what's the alternative are you going to just go out there and play the field and get ran through and let all of these men play with you because you know y'all gain emotional attachments to these guys but these guys don't want you obviously because we know you're going after a certain type and because of that you feel unwanted unloved now you're on depression pills and prozac and all that good stuff or what's the other alternative go and work a career and become stressed out and become an independent woman and disqualify yourself for any man because he doesn't want a man masculine woman what's the alternative so tell me why i spoke to my ex today and we decided that we're still gonna have the boy first he need to leave that dope alone you haven't so he, he, he need to leave that dope alone so the boy can protect the girl i'm smiling but it ain't funny i'm smiling but it ain't funny I don't know who is leading these women astray like this, but man, why would you even be talking to your ex about having kids? Y'all are not even together. He hasn't shown you a commitment. Y'all are not physically together. Y'all shouldn't even be talking about having kids. These women are really clueless. She can't have a dad. There's no way possible that she has a dad who loves her. See, my problem is I got holes in my phone that's trying to f with me, but I want you. But then again, I might be one of the in your phone and you want somebody else. And that's what f with me. You smart. What's the most important thing that you've learned from your past relationships? The most important thing I've learned? A lot of women have mental health issues. Could say the same thing about men, could you not? Yeah, a lot of guys are f up in the head. I'm, I'm sorry you had to experience that. I'm not. It's part of life. Look, you would be surprised at how many women are walking around right now struggling with mental health issues. This brother did not tell a single lie. These women are on Prolac, Zoloft, Selexa, they on Lexapro, all kind of medications, you name it. And guess what? They will not hide it from you because it's so normal amongst them. They think it's normal. They honestly think it's normal. What was that about? Dude, you're weird. Women are not interested in the solution. They're interested in the venting. That's all it is. They just want to be heard. As a man, we just want to fix the problem. And that's what's annoying about it. I don't need to know how you caught a flat tire. Where are you located? Let me help you change it. 
Sorry, but this is what I started doing because I'm really tired of f***ing men. Men try to be like, I'm going to match your energy. I'm going to match your energy. I'd be like, why do you want to match my energy? I'm a girl. That's the problem with men these days. They want to act just like the girls. You know, all I heard was this. I'm a subpar woman and these men do not want to put up with me because I have nothing of real value to offer them. That's the only thing I heard. I hope that's the only thing you guys heard. If you got any common sense and you know how to decipher these languages that they speak, you know that's the case. That's all I can understand. It literally be the hoes that are ruining it for us girls over here. Stop being a hoe and hurting the good guys. If the guy, if you know this guy really wants something serious, stop being a fucking hoe. Be honest and be like, bitch, I don't want, I don't want a relationship with you. A cheerleading coach had intercourse with her daughter's 16-year-old boyfriend more than 300 times. 45-year-old Jennifer Hawkins was taken into custody earlier this month on secondary charges and sexual battery after a five-year relationship with a 16-year-old boy came out. The victim, who is now 21, said that this all began in 2017 whenever he was dating Jennifer's daughter. He said that he would come over to her house every single day during lunch. You know, all this video did for me is kind of solidify the notion that older women are always constantly in competition with younger women. Unfortunately, in this situation, it was the mom in competition with the daughter. Even worse, this is a 16-year-old girl, so you know the boyfriend is 16 or close to that age. And guess what? She still went for it. And I ain't gonna hold you, man. I've been to women's houses when I was a teenager, and they mama was looking at me as if, boy, if you was 18 right now, I'd give it to you. I don't care what my daughter do about it. Like, I've been in that situation. Women are always in competition with others other women someone on here said that you would benefit more from being yourself in a relationship because men love crazy bitches and honestly that is the truest statement because i be saying the most outlandish shit and they be finding it cute like <laughs> she's quirky i'm dead ass stink fella she 100 right but it's a specific type of guy she's talking about a guy who has experienced and been in this world for quite a bit and actually learned from his mistakes and his actions and his past doings will quickly run away from a woman who shows any signs of crazy if you got something to lose you gonna run when you hear crazy that stuff might have been a turn on in your 20s maybe even your 30s but by the time you in your 40s man and you still get turned on by crazy you ain't learning you're not growing you have been seriously lacking in the area of self-development let's be real now i know some of you guys say man well they fun and this that and the third but it's fun worth your mental health it's fun worth your assets it's fun worth your freedom it's fun worth your self-respect stop focusing on dating focus on money you are poor you are poor you are broken poor the only chase you should be texting is the make focus on how you're gonna make money and how you're gonna be happy doing that you want to find the love of your life money will make that easier average woman now because men ain't checking for women with money unless they hobosexuals but uh yeah man she was kind of aggressive but the point was on point bro listen if you chasing these women you're gonna lose money but if you getting this money you're not gonna lose women that's how it goes man get that bag little brother if you made it this far to the video that mean you rock with your boy i would highly appreciate you if you go ahead on and give me a subscribe we're closely approaching 100,000 subscribers and i think that we can get there by this time next month as long as whoever watching this video hit the subscribe button man but other than that y'all have a good one